If you are fitting an archway into an existing internal wall, bring the module in and simply enter the width and height of the opening into these red boxes at the top. You can now see everything has been worked out for you. Let's look further into the detail. For the marking out you can change the default height of the lintel in this yellow box, as well as the number of hours for the labour. The battens for the dust barrier have been allowed for, along with the polythene, but if they are not required, simply untick the box on this row. The time allowed for creating the opening is in a yellow box, which means it is to be checked and can be adjusted if required. The program estimates but cannot possibly know the exact number of hours it will take, as this can depend on the location of the arch and on the construction of the wall, so you can adjust this box if required. Like anything else in the program, you can use the drop-down box or click the image icon to change the item you will be using, in this case the cutter. This also allows you to check what the program has allowed for and make further changes if needed. The props have been calculated and the lintel required for the opening and you can choose a different one from the default selection. The arch formers are detailed here, again with a graphical representation. The render beads have been worked out here. If you require a mixer, simply tick the box, but you might be mixing it by hand. The hours for the plastering for making good have been calculated here and you can specify different aspects of the plastering here including the area for making good, the type of cement required and the sand cement ratio.